my good old fiber cloth. Hmm. Lens wipe. Perfect. Alright, fellas, welcome back to a new YouTube video today. It is a Wednesday, and it's currently 7.45. I woke up around uh, 7.30, had a cold shower this morning, but despite the uh, good things that a cold shower might bring with it, I definitely did not do it by choice. My apartment currently does not have any hot water. It was either that I wouldn't have a shower until like mid-afternoon because I have to call maintenance today, or just have a shower in the morning and just tough it out. And it was really difficult, I have to say, but I feel extremely awake. It feels like I just got adrenaline just pumped into my veins. But overall, the experience was very jarring. So, any hoosers, this morning I have to make my bed here real quick and then I'm gonna go for a little walk, uh, which I also will be calling maintenance on because of the whole hot water issue here. But today I'm also getting some groceries delivered by Instacart. If you guys don't know what Instacart is, and you guys are like in college or something without a vehicle, highly recommend checking it out. It's really nice to uh, not have a car and then just literally get your groceries delivered. I'm pretty sure it costs a total of like 10 or $12 or something, including like the service fee and whatnot in order for them to get delivered. So overall, it's a pretty good deal and it's really nice if you like don't have a car. Honestly, I get very stressed out when I go out to get groceries just because there's just so much shit going on and you have to remember so many things and uh, I just don't enjoy it to be honest unless I just have like an unlimited amount of time Just going grocery shopping with a limited amount of time is really stressful for me So I honestly don't like doing it. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna stick to the morning routine We're gonna make my bed clean my room here real quick and then I'm going on a little walk Which will probably be around like 20 minutes or something. I like to do that in the morning now that I'm cutting I'll show you guys my weight right now right now. I have my clothes on obviously, but current weight is 183 pounds but this morning I actually woke up around 180.8 and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm definitely leaning out quite a bit. Uh, in my last Instagram picture, I was looking pretty damn lean, but but yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna get on with my day, make my bed here and go for a quick walk. Alright y'all, I'm currently vibing over here. I've been doing anatomy, watching some anatomy lectures, taking notes, and making flashcards on Anki. If you guys don't know what Anki is, I would highly recommend checking it out if you guys are in like medical stuff at all. It's super nice to make flashcards on there instead of having like a stack of like 300 flashcards that you have to go through. Highly recommend not doing that. Anyway, something that makes my study sessions a lot more enjoyable is this thing right here. This is a aroma diffuser, whatever you call it. Um, you put like essential oils in there, which, you know, they have like different functions, but if you believe that kind of thing, that's like pretty much the same thing as believing in astrology or something like that. So I don't believe that it like, you know, fucking rejuvenates me or anything like that. But for me, it definitely helps with like staying focused and actually getting work done because a lot of my classes are asynchronous. So I'm not like going to class at all and I just have to watch lectures on my own and take notes uh, the way I want to. So it kind of helps me a little bit. I'm also currently waiting for the grocery delivery. It should be delivered very soon, but I'm actually missing class right now, shit. But yeah, overall, these aroma diffusers are super nice because they basically excrete good smelling mist and then basically just hotbox your room. So, I mean, if you guys like getting your room hotbox, this is a perfect alternative. <laughs> Groceries are here, boys. Shit, there's the car. Dude, living in an apartment like this is horribly inconvenient. Like, I have to scan in every single time I come into the building, and like, my hands are just full of groceries. It's so inconvenient. Check this out, boys. I'm cutting, but uh, fuck it. And now, time to start the dreadful, dreadful unpacking process of all of these groceries. 
highly recommend. These are so good. All right, I'm having some issues here. A bunch of the stuff that came with my order, I did not order. So I don't know what was going on there, but I'm gonna have to talk to the uh, people. Okay, but basically I'm gonna take you guys through exactly what I get from the grocery store. This is pretty much what I get most times, and it doesn't really change too much. So we have two dozen eggs here. I gotta still put those in the refrigerator, but I just gotta toss that in there. Well, in here we have some waffles, these are just, they taste good. We got some frozen fruit in there. We also have some beer battered cod fillets, which are gonna be good. I've never had them before. We also got uh, ground turkey, ground turkey's great. It's a very lean protein and also isn't chicken. It's really nice to not eat chicken. I also got a supreme pizza for the nights that I don't wanna cook. We got moo tubes because they're amazing. Great dessert, in my opinion. And then down here, we got all the good stuff. We have whole milk yogurt. This is something I have a lot. This is a really nice uh, late night snack. Then we also have everything bagels. For some reason, I got baby cut carrots. I didn't order these, but I got them anyways. But then down here, we also have some spring mix, which is really nice for salads. Now that I'm cutting, I'll be eating salads a lot more. It also just makes me feel good. Uh, personally, I just feel a lot better if I have salads and just some sort of fiber content in my life. But then we also have broccoli down there, which I guess I'll cook in some things. Like I didn't order that either. And then we also have some navels, some oranges down here, which I love. Probably gonna have one of those before the gym here. But then I also have some bread here, which is something that I'll be using for uh, French toast likely in the morning. I have some cinnamon and all the different spices that I need in here. And then we also have a ton of coffee. Coffee is very important. I didn't have to order any this time because my mom was kind enough to send me with a bunch of coffee to school. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm a major coffee addict. Well, not, not an addict. I just really enjoy the taste of coffee and how it like wakes me up a little bit in the mornings. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna eat right now. I have a pull day today, so I'm gonna take you guys through that session. I haven't showed you guys like any upper body workouts recently, I don't think. So I'll be taking you guys through that. It'll be a great time. I really have not recorded at the rec in quite some time, so it'll be interesting. <clears throat> All right, guys, so. It's come time to take some pre-workout. So Gorilla just came out with two different flavors for the old fashioned Gorilla mode. As you can tell here, we have Maho Mojito here on your right, and then Lemon Lime on your left. I've already tried Lemon Lime, really enjoyed it. Um, some people were comparing it to like Sprite or something like that. Overall, I would still say that Bombsicle is probably my favorite flavor, but definitely enjoyed this one. I have not tried Moho Mojito yet, but also, just letting you guys know, we have a package over there. You see that little white package right there? That white package right there is filled with pre-workout packages. So, if you guys are interested in a giveaway, let me know down in the comments below. Anyways, we're gonna try this Moho Mojito. I have not tried it yet. I also don't really know what it would taste like. I don't really know what Moho Mojito is or what mojito in general is. Of course, when it comes to pre-workout, what's really important is the ingredients in it. So that's what Gorilla really excels at, I think, is the ingredients and how full they make their products. Like it's not some bullshit ingredients in there that they just decide overnight what to put in it and then like just sell it just for money. Like this is an actually good product and there's a ton of good ingredients in here that are all in their full efficacious doses. So I think that's really important. That's definitely far more important than taste. Let's do the drugs on the finger. Hmm. What does that taste similar to? T it tastes a little bit like candy. I think it tastes like candy, but I can't tell which one. It tastes similar to Firefly Lemonade. I think this is a little bit better though. So it's a little bit more sour, which I personally really like. We got another little half ski here, I'm making a huge mess on this table. I'm probably gonna have to snort the uh, remainder off this table. Okay, anyways guys, both of these are currently in stock right now. So if you guys are at all interested in that, you can of course use code MAX. And so as I explained earlier, I have a pull day today, which um, I'm actually going back to push pull legs, or well push legs pull, which is actually what I really like to do back when I was doing push pull legs. I was doing upper lower three days a week for a while, but training legs three days a week was really difficult for me and it wasn't really, and it wasn't really that worth it. Like I really like to have leg days that I just put my absolute everything into 
and I can't really do it with three days uh, just because I usually get pretty sore from legs, especially when I do a lot of sets and do high volume training like I am right now. So I went back to push pull legs and that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing for the entire time that I'm cutting, I assume. Any hoosers, I'm gonna go to the gym. It's gonna be raining later, so I'm gonna have a nice study session later, but I need to get this workout in really quick because I have the uh, my physics lab today at like 345 and it's currently 12.51, so I hate being strapped for time at the gym because I just like constantly think about it. I'm kind of like anxious about going to class or whatever. Well, not like actually anxious, but I always like think about it, you know? But overall, I just hate being strapped for time at the gym. So we're gonna go as soon as possible here, probably within the next two minutes, and I will see you guys there. Alright fellas, so it's currently about 3.08 p.m. I have lab at 3.40. So, gotta slam a quick meal here. I don't know if I showed you guys before, but the two cereals that I got for this week were corn squares and rice squares. No, I'm not a grandpa, but I really like these cereals. Like, I used to be super into sugared cereals and stuff like that, but after a while it just got to be so sugary for me, especially while I was bulking. So I've really formed a deep connection with these rice squares and corn squares. I think they're the best cereal for me right now. They just taste absolutely amazing and they make me feel real nice. So I'm about to enjoy an absolutely fat bowl of that. Even though I'm cutting, I still have like 160 grams of carbs or something for this meal, which is super nice. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, feel free to smash the like button and subscribe for more videos in the future. We're getting back on that grind. We're getting back to posting one video a week. That is how we do. But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And bicep flex for the end.